So UCLA wins its eighth of the year and now a game above 500 in conference. Olivia Athens gets the game winner. It came early in the second half. Olivia, with all the call-ups and with the injuries, what's the pressure like on the rest of you, the ones that are still here, those that are left behind to carry the banner for UCLA? Yeah, unfortunately, we've had some injuries. So I think um, just as a team, we've all had to step up and you know do more than we're used to. So luckily, we got the win today and keep moving forward. Olivia, speaking of stepping up, Arizona made it difficult for you guys in the first 45 minutes. They were in the attacking third much of the time. and But you guys were able to kind of get rid of their attack and, and come up empty at the half. What did you guys mm -hmm. talk about at the half that allowed you to come in and get that early score in the second? Um, I think with them like kind of dropping to a five back, we had to be more patient, um, move the ball, change the point. And we did that in the second half, and it showed we got two goals. Speaking of changing the point of attack, a lot of good things happen when you guys move the ball around, and that's precisely what happened. It was Ashley Sanchez, you all just kind of knocking the ball around, and then the buildup happened, and then it was great service via Corta out to Kennedy Faulkner on the outside, who then served one into you. What were you seeing in terms of getting through those two defenders and getting into that open space? Yeah, Viv played a great ball to Ken, and Ken's a lefty, so I knew if we just got in the box that we'd have a chance, and she played a great ball, and it wasn't the prettiest goal, but... Um, <laughs> What'd you get it with, Olivia? Was it your I, hip? No, I think it was my stomach, and I kind of just knew... Amanda's been telling us, you know, we have to get numbers in the box, we want to score, and I just tried to get in the right place, and she just hit it and deflected it in, so it worked. And, of course, uh, Via Corte gets a goal later yep. on. You win 2-0. But, but talk about your defense and, and your keeper as well. You guys have yeah. gone back and forth. And, and Brisky played the other night. She played very well. Tegan Micah today. Yeah. Lauren and Tegan are both great. Uh, we trust them, both of them, equally. So it's great having great keepers back there. So uh, during the game today, we were already kind of looking ahead to that uh, the big SC game at the end of the year because it always draws a great crowd. It's yeah. so much fun in Southern California. And, and I made the prediction that you're going to get everybody back by then. You're going to be a much different team. Why will you be a better team? I think just having the depth that we have. You know, we have some great players who aren't here right now, and to get them back and then get them back into training too and get that competitiveness back, and it'll be great for us come the end of the year.